Yeah, I'm really, really over the moon to obviously have come away with um, team medals from the Gold Coast. I'm really happy to have run a 22-2 in the 200 metres in April, which obviously I've never done before, and I think that bodes well for the rest of the season, which makes me super excited. But And obviously I'm so proud to have come together as a team with the girls and got a bronze medal, and especially proud of Lorraine, the long jumper, on last leg. Um, that 200 yeah, definitely. I mean, it was a world-class 200 meter field. It was. It could have been easily a world final. The times could have been a world final. It was. Yeah, more or less the times we ran in London last year. So um, I was very, very happy to have definitely placed the fourth, third um, among such a talented field. And then drafting in the rain at the last minute like yeah. that, still coming away with gold. Can you take? It? Yeah, I mean, I think that bodes well. I think it shows, um, it pays a lot to the depth of British sprinting right now, where you can kind of pull a girl from the long jump and she can still really, really hold the, the team together and bring us home in a, with a really good time, an English record, and um, holding off the Olympic champions. So I think that just says quite a lot. So it's only just over a year ago that you had a major setback with your, with your injury. I mean, it's all really come together since then. Fingers crossed, touch. We don't want to jinx it. Yeah, yeah um, I was I was, uh, was reflecting on that with my physio the other day. Like this time last year, I was in the middle of my degree um, with a broken foot, rehabbing, not able to walk at all, <laughs> still in crutches. So I definitely wasn't running, wasn't training. And now uh, this time next year, I've got two medals from the Commonwealth Games. So yeah, it's been a, it's been a very good 12 months for me, quite a turnaround. And a confidence boost, obviously. You know, we've got. Um got the rest of this year, Tokyo's not that far away, yeah. better than ever. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling good, got the Europeans later this year, the Worlds next year and then the Olympic Games, so yeah, looking good. Sum up how you feel about how you're going working. I'm feeling quite happy about it, um, honestly. Um, like you said, the 200 was a bit of a disappointment, but that's behind me. We came back, got goal in the, in the 4x1 and I'm happy. And I know you're saying you, you want to put Thursday behind you and move on, but... Uh, you did say Jareen Richards came up to you and he did essentially say, it's not your apologise. Yeah, well, after the race, yes, as we crossed the finish line, we hugged up each other, said congratulations to each other, but then he also mentioned, hey, I'm sorry about hitting your arm, man. And that was it. So, do you have any sort of bitterness about that moment? Or do you, I mean, how did you feel? Did you I, feel like you were wrong? Well, I didn't feel as if I was wrong because obviously I was ahead of him. So, it's, it is what it is. Um, I didn't intentionally try to put my arm out to stop Jareen. But it happened, and that's what they're saying. So I just have to walk with that now. And then, uh, as I say, you know that was a bad moment. But um, aside from that one moment, you had the high of Saturday, and you've essentially delivered two gold medal winning performances. So massive encouragement, you must be. Talking. Massive encouragement, definitely, especially um, European Championships coming up now. So it's just that's the focus right now for me. Um, obviously, I, I came out here um, to do the long jump, um, and they'd kind of contacted me a little bit beforehand to say. Um, if I was okay with being in the relay pool and obviously I agree because I had run a couple hundred metre times which were decent um, but they kind of had their team cemented in the four girls that they knew they were going to run so I figured those would be the girls that will be running um, and after she got injured the other two girls that were in the relay pool also were needed for the 4x4 so then I was obviously the next up um, and I found out I was on the team the day before I warmed up and did my first uh, relay exchanges in the warm-up area before going out to run. But to be honest, the girls were really positive. They weren't nervous. They weren't making me feel too under pressure. So because they were comfortable and calm, so was I. And since we did um, such good exchanges in the warm-up area, I figured that I, I was comfortable with being able to get the baton round. And I was just glad that I was able to hold the position for them um, and bring the medal home. That's yeah, super nice for you to finish it off, I guess. Definitely. Um, and done the relay for some time? Yeah. Um, I think the last time I did it was when I was in university. Um, so probably about two years ago, maybe two years, or three, what's it, 2018? 17, 16, 15, three years ago. Uh, yeah. so, add, so adding that to uh, success of the, uh, the long jump as well, I think I was still pretty good about the whole thing. Definitely, I think I, I felt felt good about it, and I think that um, just being able to compete with the girls and run in the relay, maybe I don't know, there might be a couple more in the future. Um, so you enter some recent medals, and then this is another step in the right direction towards competing uh, in Tokyo. Definitely, I, I know that in the long jump, I expect to be there and, and try and contend for a medal. I'm going to try to make a better effort in keeping myself healthy so that I can come with the best opportunity come um, Tokyo 2020. You never know, maybe this gold has spurred on another relay appearance, but we'll see what happens in the next couple of years.
even started racing yet. Sometimes I start in May, sometimes I start in June. So to be championship ready in April was um, different for me and my team and my coaches who did a brilliant job, obviously. I'm really, really happy. Absolutely fantastic. You saw the Australian team, they've done so well out here. And um, want to do well. We saw that in London. I definitely felt it in my 200. That pushed me on to run um, a time that I was really, really happy with the place for. So, yeah, it's going to be just the same in Birmingham. I can't wait. Honestly, just really exciting and just happy that I didn't disappoint the girls and drop the baton or do anything crazy. So, really just excitement. I just think that there's been more confidence in female sprinters, there's been more confidence in um, le and less pressure because I, I feel like even with me just coming in and experiencing it, nobody put any pressure on me, nobody put, um, um, 